Reptiles are those brown squiggly lines that we see on the map that help us identify what's going on in the hillside. They show us the shape of the land as if we're looking from above, viewing it from a bird's eye view. So how do we make sense of it? Well, the contours, at least on most maps, a few vary, but we can check the map to make sure. On most maps we're using the hills, they're shown in 10 meter intervals. And because that interval is set always the same, we can tell that when the contours are really close together, the land is going to be steep. And when the contours are very well spaced on the map, the land is going to be much flatter. It's also handy to tell what's up and down. So we've got a few clues we can use for this. Every now, now and again, the altitude is written on one of the contour lines. So if we work around and find the numbers, we can see which numbers are higher and which numbers are lower. And we can also have a look for streams. And the start of a stream is going to start in higher ground and we can trace that down to bigger rivers below. So that's another clue. I think many people look at contours and get quite confused. But if we try and keep things simple and try to identify big features such as valleys and ridges, in simple terms, everything is made up out of V shapes. Now it might look like an N if you're looking at it from the other way around, but we'll call them Vs for the sake of this little film. As long as we know what's up and down, we can figure out what is a valley and what's a ridge. So a valley, that V shape, like this, I know it's an N here, but imagine it the other way around. The point of that is going to be pointing uphill. And if we're looking at a ridge, that point is going to be pointing down the slope. And everything we see in any hillside is made out of some form of valley and ridge shapes. Some might be big, some might be small. So have a look at that next time you're out and see how you get on.